Shuttle Atlantis is sailing through space one last time, turning a final page for NASA. Burning two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Uh, despite forecasts of bad weather, Atlantis and its crew did blast off on its last mission today. Viewers across America watched the historic beginning of the end for shuttles program, the NASA shuttle program, including a special event at Buffalo State College today. News 4's Michelle McClintock reports. Two, one, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. Space shuttle Atlantis blasted off for the very last time, as close to a million spectators gathered to watch and be a part of space program history. Atlantis. The crew of four snapped shots before gearing up and getting on board for the 12-day mission. The gloomy weather almost prevented the liftoff this morning, but at 11.29 a.m., just two and a half minutes late, Atlantis took its 135th mission in 30 years. Here in Buffalo, these shuttle enthusiasts found the perfect place to watch the launch. The Buffalo State College Whitworth Ferguson Planetarium showed the shuttle liftoff on its 24-foot dome. At the time, I wanted to be an astronaut, and I was like, you know, someday I'm going to be on the shuttle. The planetarium runs programs for those interested in space. It's running a moon and Mars program, and in August, you can come to see a sky show. But today was extra special for many people here. I saw the first few, but I haven't seen any in many years. And I thought, well, this is the last one. I better see it. I remember the Alan Shepard, but I think I remember more specifically uh, John Glenn going up as part of the, I guess it was part of the Friendship uh, 7 series. And I remember I went out and got the Friendship, you know, rocket model and painting it and putting it together. Howard Payne has some of those keepsakes from the early years of space travel. Still have probably a dozen copies of the newspaper with, you know, man walks on the moon or whatever it was. The U.S. has been in the forefront of manned space exploration. That time has come to an end as NASA works on ways to go even deeper into space. Michelle McClintock, News 4.